Welcome to Virtual Setworks Virtual Sets for Adobe After Effects. These virtual sets come as an After Effects project with a number of different compositions. Each composition is a different angle of the set and each composition has a number of layers. Some of these layers are UV maps, which look like gradients and can be used to define where the talent and video can go into the screens. In order to map video to these UV gradients, we need to use a plugin from Revision Effects called Remap UV, which can be found on their website, revisioneffects.com. This plugin allows you to use the UV map data to map a video of your choice to any part of the set that the UV map data exists in, including transparency and reflection. You can also use the plugin to adjust the mapping data. Once that's done, you can throw a color key onto the clip as well and remove the green. Once the green's removed, we can also put a mask on there. We can repeat this same procedure for the gradients that map out where the screens are. Notice also how the reflections in the floor also change. Once rendered, you can see how the UV maps enhance the quality of the composite by creating accurate reflections and proper mapping. Let's look at a more complex set. This is Studio 197 from Volume 9, and it has many more layers and more discrete control over the individual UV maps. You can see that we can turn off different layers affecting the, the way the set works. In this case, we turn the desk off so that we can see the full range of the talent, which we've already put a mask on. These UV maps have a reflection in the floor and as you can see, they conform closely to the bump map, giving you a very accurate reflection in the floor. The finished product concisely delivers your vision with the maximum amount of control over the creative process. Thanks for checking us out on virtualsetworks.com.